What's going on everybody? This is Pride. So today we are doing a Stonk Conjure deck. Stonks, of course, are the card that you can get from Lima Pluridon. I'm not running So Magic Beans. It's a terrible card. Uh, so Magic Beans is a two-cost card that puts Stonks in your deck and then does nothing. Lima Pluridon, on the other hand, is a very decent one-cost 2-2 two -two Amphibious. Can answer pesky Amphibious cards like Toxic Waste Dam, but this is going to be putting a Magic Beanstalk into your deck every single turn. And if, since we're running a lot of Conjure, everything from Banana Peel... Which will conjure you a card. Captain Cucumber makes all of your conjure cards cost one less, besides for conjuring legendaries itself. Also running a ton of card draw. So Flourish again is gonna put more magic beanstalks in your deck, but it's also gonna be drawing said beanstalks out of your deck. And every single time you get a magic beanstalk, it's a one cost four four draw card, an absolutely completely busted card. Uh, the idea is just to try to get them. We're also running four copies of Moonbeam. Great excuse to run this card again. Uh, since we're running all this card draw and conjure, it's decided to run Bananasaurus Rex. This definitely justifies all the different card draw cards since this is going to grow insanely every single time you draw or conjure something. I was going to run Brain and I'll bet the last minute the chat or Samish <laughs> convinced me to run Bird of Paradise, which is a very good conjure card. This can also give you cards like Holoflora or, you know, that draws two cards or anything like Big Chill that draws you one card. This will be a way of actually. Uh, not only, again, activating your old important dinosaurs, but actually will give you more card draw cheaply uh, from your deck. Since we're running a few beans and we needed some removal, these four cards are beans. Uh, so we're running four, three copies of Jelly Beans. This will be able to put a 5-4 on the field. Very strong stats for a four-cost card while bouncing a zombie off the field. So that'll be good. You can even play this in a pinch onto one of your Magic Beanstalks that you've stuck into your deck. Uh, I guess we have a little card draw here, otherwise just control and biggin will be good. Precision Blast uh, will actually work very well with the banana peels. You can throw something in the middle lane and then Precision Blast it, so that should work out. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the game. This is Stonkingers. I'm excited for this one. Um, so we're trying to get our click peas out of our deck. Obviously, every time you play another click pea, all the click peas grow. A 2 cost 3-3 three, three is overpowered in this game, so that'll be good. Oh, are these games going to go fast or slow? They're going to take forever, won't they? All right, six out of eight day. If we were going to win, if you think we're going to win six games out of eight with this deck, vote yes. Five out of eight to no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry them up. Uh, when are we going to flourish? After we have Lima on the board? Uh, I'll get rid of Banana Peel since we need a second, proper second early game card. Second click peel is always nice. Uh, so we'll play Cloak PM1 and wait for that second one. This hand is... It's not great, but it's not terrible. Just Headstone Carver. We have to control that so it doesn't get too much value, so... We stick the click in front of it. La 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 So we have several moonbeans. I really had success with moonbeam in the past. Interesting putting this in middle lane. So is he gonna move this away from the headstone cover? It's fine. I probably will not super a 3-2 here. I'll probably just play moonbeam in two. Get this headstone carver. This goddamn headstone carver off the board. See if it's another sumo. It is Monkus. <sighs> Thank you, Case, for your kind words. Welcome to the stream for the first time. Always nice to see nice warm comments from first time. Guys on YouTube, come to Twitch and give nice warm comments. Nice moist. I feel like we're falling behind here a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to super. Uh, I'd love to play a three-three here, but it doesn't actually do anything. Oh, I don't know why I thought this disappeared. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of stonks in our deck, so that's awesome. We'll play the click pee later. No, no weed spray both. Oh my god, that's a hell of a weed spray. That just denies a lot. Bruh. And we're not blocking too. There's a lot of 
Really bad things happening this game. Shut up and take my money. I like stonks. I like big stonks. I cannot lie. Thank you, Taco Man. I wonder if I should have frozen this because the burb is the word. That burb, burb, burb. No way, bro. I can't deal with that. We're so done. I can't even play two cards this turn. So Octopus last. Monkey in the middle. So we have to block this. He, you know, he's only doing 2 plus 3. We're not quite dead, but this bird is not playable now. So it's 2 plus 3? I don't need more click peas. I don't know what I need, to be perfectly honest. I need magic beanstalks, like, right now. Oh my gosh! It's a miracle! Yes! That's good. Very, very good. So they can prevent. We're only taking two damage this turn. Which is very, very nice. Maybe I should have let the beanstalk live here and then. I don't know. Now I have nothing live. And then put the 2 2 to jump block the 5 5. This being a 5 1 is still insane. We're still gonna need some really good stick in the stonk, save us. Gosh, Flourish just carried there. I didn't. I don't know if I ran Flourish in the last time I did this deck four years ago. <laughs> Bro, you already did this deck in 2017. I don't care. It's a completely different version. This is the Conjure version. Shut up. Now what? I mean, Captain Cucumber is kind of cool. Maybe I'll just Captain Cucumber click P. Guess so. What if he has five damage in that gravestone? What if it's a pogo? If it's a pogo, we lose no matter what. And I think it's like this, and then like this to play around Cosmic or whatever Cryo Yeti. Hopefully not. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Glad we blocked that one. We're not conjuring anything. We're grasping for air. We're going to need a long succession of... I don't even know how many magic beanstalks we have in this deck at this point. It's not a ton. We're going to need one right now just to survive, though. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. If we win this game, guys... If we win this game... Okay, Mug is in four. We have to cheat. The lucky news is Zombot Battle Cruiser is in lane one. Monkey in the middle, and then two Mugs. Oh, three. Do so we have to block these three? I mean, we're gonna need to. <laughs> I still need a miracle here just to survive. Let's see what we get. That does not help at all. I think that's gear. Well, we'll have to. We'll have to get two playable cards from this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Please, 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 please. Anything that's cheap. Please, please, please. Yes? No, 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 bad! No, it's not funny, but it's not! Why? He's stealing block meter, so it doesn't even matter that we didn't block this lane. Because there's no way to let this hit in California roll him. God damn it. Alright, we're all in one. <laughs> that was a pretty fun game. It's not possible to win against that in this deck, though. We have no way of controlling gravestones. The mugs were brutal. And the weed spray. <laughs> Imagine he didn't have weed spray. Anyway, next. 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 Yeah, no healing. Honestly, just some cool beans that would have been the, the thing we needed there, but whatever. Well, we're not going to be facing weed spray mug the entire day. Hopefully. This is cool. Should I keep Conjure or should I keep be disciplined and keep Stonk? Yeah, I think Cucumber is not even that great against Rustbolt. Alright, this is fine. There's just too many black holes and weed sprays and rolling stones and Gladiator and I don't know. Hardy Heroes, am I right? I don't know where this goes. I don't think it's the card we really need to protect using the super. We'll probably put one of these more. Valuable cards. <laughs> na, 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 
You can't give subs, it says something went wrong. Twitch being buggy. Donations through Streamlabs is the most consistent. Uh, Alright, we'll see if he, you know, if he's doing, like, healthy treat, then this is a good play. Even if he's doing, like, super, that's fine. It's still somewhat of a punish. 2-7 against a 3-4. It's not great. Still pretty good. Pass, so we gotta play on curve. So we'll just do this here. What? Bruh. That's okay. He spends a 3 drop to deal with a 2 drop. He gets a 3 5 on the board. I should proc his block. Come on, click B. I had one job. Okay, he's at 20 health now. La la la. Um, this is bad. I need a uh, I need a banana peel so we can do the the funny funny. Wow, so this does this actually trades well here, leap. so that's awesome. We, we do need a leap. So we're gonna have a lot. We're gonna have a lot of stonks. It's gonna be we didn't get any yet, but we'll have five now coming in the next year. Thank you, Red Barrel. Welcome to the family, Red Barrel. Using that free Twitch Prime sub. Subscribing on Twitch is free. As long as you have Amazon Prime. Or your mom has Amazon Prime. Should I plant food for no reason here? We need a leap. <laughs> it's so many stocks. Alright, the stocks are coming, guys. Don't even worry about it. Okay. This untrickable, uh... Dude, I could really use a jelly bean right around now. Super slow. Should I keep Stonk Scar? I don't feel like it. It would be fun, but yeah, I don't feel like it. So there's Stonks. There's more. We've got a bunch of stuff. I mean, how much do we have now? That was six. Oh my gosh, they're coming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I think I Stonk and I plant food the, the paparazzi down. Now, it's untrickable, but this makes it do a bonus attack. This is fine. That's another stonk. We need a leap. We need a leap. Thank you, Taco Man gifting subs. Really appreciate it, Taco Man. He just rocketed that. And freeze, but... We need a leap. It's okay. We need it's just a, a temporary measure. It's growing. That's okay. Proc the block. The super becomes sad in lane 3 because it's just untrickable. I wonder what that is. No freaking clue. What is this card that he doesn't play here? Rodeo? Still play this one. I don't get it. I think we super this. This plant food should... Well, it's 1-3-2. Yeah, this is a simple play. We're going to super now because we're not going to be able to later. I'm going to do this. Is this a good trade even? Or should I just go face? Well, I'll do it like this. And I'll make this one go face. Yeah, that's fine. This also ends up going face for more if he ends up playing tricks this turn. <sighs> we need a leap. We need a leap. <laughs> Thank you again to Taco Man gifting a handful of subs. Just a dozen. We need a leap. We need a leap. <laughs> now what? Like, I don't know, plant food is Jack. I can move this one and then plant food. I feel like I can maybe plant food and then move, then do it. I think we have to. Banana bomb becomes unplayable. <laughs> That's our chance. So block, like, um, in Biggin is pretty good.
Weed spray again? Jeez. Oh, it doesn't hit her. Oh no. So now we need like block freeze or blow. Blow the trickster. Yep. Have to. Have to, have to. But now he's got eight. He just plays any treat and wins here, right? Or does that? Man, we're getting rocked. What is going on? We're 0 and 2 now. Wind condition just not strong enough? I mean, I feel like we're we're doing what we need to and we're getting our stocks, but I don't know. It's just not going anywhere. Um, we're we're kind of missing the ability to like remove key cards. So maybe that's an issue. I know we're running for jelly beans. That's as good as you can do. I, I guess I'll just run like maybe this deck needs brainanas to play around tricks. It feels like removing key cards is the thing that we've really been needing to do and haven't been able to, so... I guess I'll just run a fourth Jelly Bean. There's really nothing more I can do than that. I'll do it instead of one of the burps. That was just sad. Yeah, so we're open too. We gotta make the comeback here. We can win six straight games with this deck. I have faith. Uh, man. It's all... It's three hardy heroes. Is this the same guy? This is the same guy. I can smell. It smells like a repeat. No, it wasn't. Last guy's name was Snox Shadow. It's a completely different guy. I don't know what to do here. Let's get rid of this. Big mess. The weed spray ended up making a difference while well, I'm going viral. You think the deck's good and the opponents will, are getting answers? Maybe. Let's see. La 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 la. If he if he passes it once again, we'll we'll just in big in and play around weed spray. Who knew this is our life that we have to play around weed spray again? Jeez. No, 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 Do 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 do. Idiot. So what are we? I don't understand what he's doing. He's just passing many turns in a row. But he's down to ten. We've got this board. We got this board. I mean, I'll commit this into weed spray. There's no way to keep playing around this. What has he got, though? So he does have weed spray. He's just waiting. He's just debating me to... He could have actually... Oh, he wanted to kill the Black IP. If he does that, then the Black IP doesn't die. Alright. So he's happy having a 1-4 on the board. We're still getting stonks. Just a matter of time now. I think it's just Bird here. Bird... I think Heights Lane goes to Captain Cucumber because of Black Hole, so we'll put that in too. It's a rocket. Yeah, but I mean, we got weed spray three games in a row. Like, that's the weakness of this deck. We see a one weed spray a month on this channel. One or two. And today, in a day where we're running a deck that is pretty severely weak to weed spray, we see three in one day. Back to back to back to back. Like, what is this going to be? I have no clue. Teleportation's out? I have no clue. Gosh, so this is like, this is like old school Sun Bandits, and he's out of weed sprays, thank the lord. Thank you, Taco Man, gifting another sub. Could you be out of answers, please, Rust Bolt? Oh, it's my version. Oh, this man's running Leap. Oh, wait, did Tryhards have Leap Station in it? Oh, yeah, it did. Didn't have regular Leap. We have a lot of Magic Beanstalks in this deck. That's all I can tell you. Bra. That's okay. So it's either four and three. You can also go three one and then play whatever. It's probably worth it. Oh. We can just play three and four like this. I mean, all right, four and three, four and three, and we'll let this four damage piece of trash hit our face. It's okay. So we get these two. 
We'll do banana saurus plus banana peel next turn. Right? He's running. No, he is running the leave version. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. So this will leap to something. We'll just move it out of the way when we play our V-Rex next turn. That's a three cost. We all get some heals. That's awesome. So here's another discount. Unfortunate to get a card that doesn't use the discount at all. Cornucopia. Uh, never mind, we just bounce this. Four and four looks awfully good. Trickster now. Uh, so this will be up to six. I wonder if just controlling this is correct. Actually, this going face kind of wins. And six, we can afford to take six damage here. I think it's like... We have to get this off the board. Yeah, this threatens lethal. This should be fine. Even one shot. Yeah, we're okay. Chopping that does not help. Does he have a rocket too? No, we win. B-Rex just wins. Does 10. Alright, we got him. We beat uh, Sun Bandits. Leap Bandits. Whatever. <laughs> we won a game, finally. Guys, we're running it back. We're getting that 6 and, that six and 2. <laughs> we're getting weeds. Can we not have a hearty hero? Mix up, I don't want to see sneaky either, man. Mix up grave digger is rough. I don't got anything to deal with that. Let's get rid of the burb and just run cool bean. It plays around weed spray and it plays around mug. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, we gotta run cool bean. Cool bean's the truth. Oh, here's here's a non small removal hero at all. Oh, super brains. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Heck yeah. Should I keep two of these? One is enough. That's better. So which do we play first? If we play the click P first? They're both putting OP shiz into our deck. Should I trade these? Goodwill. Don't want him ramping. He's probably just playing space time, means we'll play this. Dun 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 dun. Bounce Ferris on the night with him. Uh, he passed turn two, so I, I mean, it's a stock deck, but I think we'll just play Black IP. This punishes Cryo Brain pretty hard here. No, 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 no. Uh, he has not shown us a superpower yet. Uh, just playing Captain Cucumber into this doesn't feel great because it could have Deadly. So I think instead I'm going to do this play. This puts a whole bunch of stonks into our deck and starts that rolling. He also draws an extra card here, giving us more options. I like it. No, 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 no. Unfortunately, Captain Cucumber is not put in a position here. I wonder if plant food is the play. Captain Cucumber sucks. Split P, I don't know. You know what? We're playing around Thinking Cat by doing this. This is a high value plant food. It also plays around Weed Spray, which he doesn't have. Maybe he kind of, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Wow. It all, well. So he just plays Beam Me Up into a 3 3. I feel like we gained more value from this than he did. So we gained 2 2 on the play. He just gets an even trade with four brains. I guess he conjures a card. But he still spends a whole card on this. I'm good with that. Good with that. So three and two looks pretty good. What is this going to be? I think we put the click P in front of it. Just in case it's a pogo, it's pretty good. It's also pretty good against, like, Tomb Raider, I gotta put something in front of it. 
and it wins the trade against teleportation zombie we take those there's the deadly and we did actually play around that correctly before so he's getting a very good value deadly always does but the good news is, is that we are, we still have a lot of power, we're conjuring ridiculous. We have a trillion magic beanstalks in our deck now, I mean, it's a lot, a lot, a lot. We also conjure Brainana, which is the perfect answer to this shiz. I'm throwing imp. Uh, we sort of have to take the teleportation zombie off the field. I could go three and three, it's pretty good. Kill four brains here. I just feel like he ends up having, well... What, what four cost card is he teleporting in right now that really screws us up, you know? I think this is fine. This is fine. We'll have a better brain Anna, I think, in the next turn or two. That's okay, again, he, he spends resources to kill one of my cards, but it's still conjuring. It's conjuring a legendary that costs two less, so our hand just refreshes, and there's gonna be. Just so many magic beanstalks in our deck after this turn. There's two more. Yes! Pecanolith, I'll take that. Take those. Look at the Pecanolith, though. Pretty damn good. Three and four is the plan? God. Is this the term we bring Anna? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> we win this trade if we play the Pecanola. Uh, I guess we'll just do this. Maybe these should have been the other way around. Because the Bananasaurus Rex grows and does a lot here. Yeah, that would have been better. My bad! And it's also less dying. What's better here, the Pecanolith? Or, man, these barrel barrels are beginning to a pain in the... Bro, come on! How many barrel barrels have he played? He's played at least four now! Okay, no, he played three and a super stench. No, wait, but this one's deadly too! Holy crap, is he conjuring barrel of barrel from barrel? I'm so happy this toxic waste him. Did not end up here. Oh yeah, we just win with seven though. That actually was not a big deal at all. Alright, well we won. Thanks, Captain. Every Captain Cucumber we deck is just the deck we do is just amazing. Gaming is right. PvZ Heroes. This is the real game, okay? Screw Fortnite. <laughs> Pretty good game, actually, not gonna lie. Alright, guys. It's way better. Stonks? Ah, that's too many threes. Uh, well, this is a good card against Z-Mag. has five health. I should probably be disciplined and look for another early game turn. It's not better. But it's okay. Is the stream going to go on YouTube? We're two and two right now, so it really depends how the deck performs. The decks that go on YouTube... Our decks that probably should have saved us for turn two to be able to kill one of his cards. That would have been smart. I'm being optimistic that he'll either use his Z-Mag Super. Thank you. That's so much value down the grain for for a card that not only is a super best super one of the best superpowers in the game. Trade the one drop. That one drop still puts two cost three threes in our deck. So, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> this is when it all goes. Uh, this is fine. We can still play Captain Jucumber next turn. I probably should develop this Moonbeam because we really probably need to bounce something at some point. Bounce something at some point. On the other hand, the Captain Cucumber only works in one lane here. Alright. The Cucumber it is. I really hope we can get a cheap, powerful legendary. Yeah, I know another hardy hero. Uh, we did get the discount on this card. For some reason, the Conjure happened before. Now, that is a heal card, but it's not a heal card. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> this automatically kills the next card he plays, and it's probably going to be better than a Gladiator, so... I say screw this guy. That's what I say. 
So three and one looks pretty good. Is there another play? Black IP would have been nice because it punishes, but see if he has another fruit cake. He's he's answering everything we play, but he's giving us card advantage and he's only doing like one damage at a shot. I don't know what this guy's strategy is, but you're not going to win with one attack heroes and you have no way of buffing them. Give this man seven going virals. Thank you, CrossFit, for 78 months. Still has not missed a month since I became a Twitch partner. CrossFit, you're amazing. What the heck, man? Give this man a... Ladies, if you want someone to date, CrossFit's your guy. He's loyal. This guy is loyal 10. So that's a super. That's what he's planning on doing with this deck. I think this this punishes him hard enough. I mean, we could go fig here. I think these black eyed peas punish him enough to play those first, and uh, we can play fig next turn and actually get some pretty good black eyed pea shots. So. He has a rolling stone that punishes him. I think this Pepper MD, we have no way of healing, but it will turn into a random guy with the fig, so... Guess we might as well do that. There's no point in blowing. This... this one... <laughs> uh, it's time for fig? It's time to fig hard? Time to figure it out. Uh, so it's fig, pepper... We have too much late game in this deck. I think that this deck needs some work. I'm gonna blow... I mean, we'll probably clear his field and blow later. We don't actually need to blow. Should I take this out? Instead of the flag zombies not helping him at all, so let's just do it like this. This minion just dies. No going viral? He's conjuring. That's good for him. He's with a lot of card advantage already. So he actually has resources now. But nothing. He's just hitting us for one damage of shot. So that kills us and turns into Banana Launcher. That's fine. That's a small removal. Uh, this one also transforms. That's pretty bad. <laughs> God damn it. And the fig finally dies. Turns into a Sonic Bloom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bloom Shakalaka. Is that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Frank et toi. So, I don't... We don't have any of our peas left, unfortunately. We'll probably blow this, like, later. I don't know. <laughs> that's, what your, that's what your mom said. Mom's plural. I don't know, man. Alright, well. It's not a whole lot to do this turn. Okay, High Diver. Been waiting three turns to play that on Heights. Sorry, bro. So it's Banana Bomb Blow just to get this Frank Guitar off the board. It's beast. I'd really like a small PR. Curve is too high now? I don't know what's going on. Wow. Freaking A. This curve sucks. We need cheaper cards, man. Does plant food do anything here? Uh, I think it's like this. We'll blow. Hopefully it doesn't hit the 2-1. That would be the worst case scenario. Bro, come on, man. That's so stupid. But we can kill, like, as long as we block this turn, we're okay. And he, as long as he, I guess, doesn't get... Oh, there's so many things that screw this up. His strength does. That's so annoying. And his lightning bolt just kills us straight up. So strength... Okay, we need a block. Thank you. So this freeze to prevent all this insane damage coming in is definitely worth it. It also kills... Yep, it kills the uh, kitchen sink now. So he gets two overshoot. We do have a bean, so we're able to take the 8-10. It's going to be a 9-11 on the board. I 
think we're okay. So it's two, four, and three, I guess. I guess we might as well draw first. Maybe we'll get something good. It gives us a lot of Dino Roar here. There isn't a different play where we win with Sonic Boom here. So we always draw first and then 2 4. I think we're good though, because we're doing so much damage. We have absolute monsters on the board. We can go 2 and 4, we can also go 1 and 4. I think just to use our um to use our sun properly here with this really large curve hand. We're gonna do this. This was really his last hope of winning, so we should hopefully be. I mean, we're, we need to hit him twice with these three minions. Yeah, we're, we're kind of good. If Fruitcake doesn't do anything, summoning is just a drop out of the ocean of the damage we're doing. Oh my gosh. Going viral doesn't do anything either. We're still hitting him for 8 plus 7 here. GG. Alright, well, we got three straight. Let's go. I have faith. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look under the hood though. I, there's definitely some things we gotta change. It seems like the curve of this deck is too high of all things, just crazy. But it's because we have so much card draw, and we're really not running a ton of early games. So I'm gonna get rid of the birds. This was nice. We can cut another one. The first thing I really want to run is Cool Beam because we're recognizing how Mug. Is a very strong weakness of this deck and weed spray. This plugin is a 3 3 to play on turn 3, which makes the deck a lot better against weed spray. I kind of want to just add even more though. Uh, maybe like non weed spray or buffing. You know, I, I sort of wanted to run like vegetation mutation. It is a way of playing around weed spray, and it's a cheaper card. Was that you, Paradox? GG. To run card draw in a deck. Well, it draws into low. Maybe the card draw is actually good. What else will we get rid of in this deck? Four of these is kind of overkill. These cool beans make it better. I, I kind of feel like either veget vegetation mutation might be good. There isn't a whole lot here that doesn't die to weed spray. Nothing really. Yeah, it's just too, the deck's just too expensive. The plant foods have been fine. It's a little niche, but it also does conjure usually cheaper cards, cheaper ends. Right, maybe this is good now. It gives you an answer. Pretty powerful card, cool me. It makes a free trade against gravestones or slows down mug mug mugs a lot. I don't think Admiral going aggro in this deck. It's not really what I want to do. I really want the, the games to draw out more and get a bunch of stonks and magic bean stocks. More what I'm going for with this deck. I ran Admiral in the first version, I'm not doing that again. Yeah, Onion Rings, is, it's not for this deck, because you you want to play cards on this deck and get your stonks. Alright, let's try it like this. The deck hasn't been doing bad. We've actually had some really bad matchups, and we're still 3-2, and two, which is pretty damn good. So... Let's do it like this, and uh, if we have any more close calls, I'll take another look. We still only have we have three games left. We could do it, guys. This is a very, very strong hand against the Morticia. And again, she could have, like, you know, Nibble or Extinction Event, but otherwise, Captain Cucumber is a really strong card. All these, and Black IP is the Immortitia killer. Together with Forget-Me-Nuts and Triceratops, I guess. Uh, so yeah, so in the chat, if you have a 1 next to your name, it means you voted yes for a 6 out of 8, and the 2 means you voted no. Those are what those little numbers indicate. Uh, so an unanswered doesn't have bats, so I would have used that. So that's an unanswered Magic Beanstalk, and that's going to get a lot of value. Pass is exactly what we want to see. 
So I'm gonna put this, doesn't really matter where. Your Captain Cucumbers in this, this deck with all the dinosaurs generally want to be on the left and your dinosaurs on the right. So I'll put this in two to have some lane options here. Most if we play it here, then this, then if we have to play after the Black Eyed Bandit. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, no Weed Spray. No, nothing like that. We want the Captain Cucumber to hit. Gotta play that on Heist Player and Acid Rain. Funny, it might be holding Acid Rain or Evaporate. It doesn't seem like a summoning or anything. But yeah, this, this Immortisha is in humongous trouble on this board. I mean, you can't even play a trick without getting punished. So there's that. There's the bird. The bird's back. The bird's coming. He's like, no. You take me out of the deck, I'm back. I'm forcing your hand. <laughs> Actually, bird looks like a really strong turn four play. He's not even chump blocking. What the hell is this? He gets, like, the answer to, to, to Black Eyed P. And then concedes. <laughs> even after getting that amazing card. I guess the opponent was bricked, but... He, she played a card, so we take the win. That's the rules, guys. They play a card, the game counts. Barely. <laughs> By this much, it counts. We're four and two. We're running it back. We need two games now, guys. <laughs> Have faith. Have faith. Here's another Morticia. Same one? Same, same, same Tisha? No. Uh... Uh, no. Completely different in Morticia. The last one was Chinese, or something like that. Do I keep this? I think we're looking for one more early game card. I'm pretty sure this is better. So we got one, two, three. This looks just fine. I think we're gonna play the amphibious one. This gets answered by summoning. So let's play the one that doesn't get answered as easily. It's fine. Save heights for uh, Captain Cucumber, I guess. <laughs> There's someone in the chat named Burb Enjoyer who says, No, Fry, you monster! You remove Burb! I don't care. Do I look like a dude who cares? Pretty sure the Moonbeam gets played on ground. Oh, we got Captain Cucumber now. Maybe we'll go for that. I don't know, do we draw out his removal this turn by playing this card? <laughs> can get the synergy more likely next turn. Should I do this? And keep our health up? I don't know. Uh, that's fine. That's an even trade. The 2 5, the 5 health of Moonbeam. It has such good stats for a 3 cost card. It's a shame that it's so outclassed by Captain Cucumber. There we go. Now we're getting some shiz. Uh, we can actually kill this by doing this play. We'll do it after the Cucumber. Why not? Just to um, <laughs> get over here. Just to get the the discount on the dude, and we're our deck is full of stocks. He'll teleport something in. That's okay. She's got it. Ugh. Nibble, 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 nibble. There's the nibble. That sucks. Acid rain. Interesting acid rain. Uh, in a lane where he's winning a trade. It's pretty annoying. Because now... Yes! The stock train is here! Let's go! So do we just blow this turn? I think says we're drawing. We can blow after. <laughs> that sounds strange, doesn't it? Another stonk? I'll play another stonk here. Oh, jelly bean. Whole bag of jelly beans. Let's just do this. Yes! Just eats the value of the Area 22 for one more turn. Oh, that's fine. We're in the money. Look at these stonks. Look at the jelly bean coming in in lane 5. Look at the 2 cost 3 3 in our hand. It's crazy. The stonks continue to roll. 
It's getting crazy in here. That's a really good unlock for the party. This Banana Service Rex is brutal. So four and two looks awesome. In fact, I'm doing this aggressively. Screw it. We have so much damage coming in this turn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we do it aggressively. So I'm, I'm going to leave the Chemist on the board because what does Chemist do? Three damage to our face. It conjures a random trick that will probably not help him. This way, any two cards, any two hits kills him. We have a 5-5 five, five double strike. He, he can't even... Eh. Wait, we're good. What is he going to do? Okay, so that prevents five damage. It's a drop out of the ocean. Now he's looking to conjure some miracle. Okay, good. It's deadly now. So he he, he, he got rid of 10 damage out of 20. All right, so we're right there. Guys, we just won five straight games after going down two. We are essentially in a seven and... We're in a six and two scenario. A five and two scenario. This game determines the bets. I think we got this one, guys. Yeah, a great blow. And here's a huge Giganticus. No removal. Let's just hope he doesn't get his super on one. And then we will be in the money. We really need to get that aggressive starting hand. Alright, we'll keep 2-3. Really sad not to get a 1 against you, Giganticus, because there's so much value. You don't have any early game removal. Could you not? Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, guys. I, I don't think we're going to win this one. I, I just... <laughs> I don't really feel like playing this anymore. Could you not do some stupid high roll hand right now? Oh my gosh, zero. He's gonna play two gravestones. <laughs> there are gonna be two pirates too. Watch. Oh, this is the this is this is the worst case scenario. There's no deck that can beat this. What am I supposed to do? They're both buffed. He's playing. He's playing five. Brains worth the value on turn two. How is this okay? Okay, okay. Swashbuckler will probably be here. So we'll, we'll go after the swashbuckler, I guess. Oh no. They're both swashbucklers. Great, so he gets a 5-5 five, five and a 3-1. And he still has this headstone carver. It's still alive and well. What am I supposed to do? This is the most godlike starting hand in PvP Heroes. Super on one, double swashbuckler with a with a with a with a with a with a, with a god damn it. That's what it is. Okay, we can prevent this five damage from hitting phase. And we can also punish this. Let's move this first. It's fine. This is actually winnable. Maybe I should have played for my... Oh, no, no, no. First, I got Terraformer. Can I get a, a good card, please? Oh my gosh. If this hits the Headstone Carver... If this hits the Headstone... I'm so dumb. What am I supposed to do? I want to play PBZ Heroes, I promise. And this grows by two, so we can't even banana peel and do that thing. That's just out of the out of the question. Oh, oh, someone have mercy, please. Okay, we can kill it like this, I guess. Oh, this is so bad. Cell five one. Oh, <laughs> it's a zero zero. Get wrecked. Bounce a plant. Oh, no. Ugh, no. Ugh, no. If we win this game, I don't know. We're not going to win. I shouldn't even talk about it, right? Right? There is no actual way to win this anymore. He's going to just play another piece of crap now. Watch. <laughs> Okay, we can freeze it. It's fine. We can freeze it. We can freeze it, and then we'll banana peel it next turn. Okay, so it's going to be... Uh, these three, right? So we'll play this here. 
And then we'll freeze this one. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's gonna be fine. That's cool. And this is cool. Now we're just gonna conjure all of our magic beanstalks, which is two. Oh, we're losing this fair and square. It's just it's just a lot of unluck here. Okay. Uh that's a seven cost card. That's not exactly what we needed here. I'm seeing a way to chum block with these two, maybe? Why Gondola, though? Have some respect! I can't deal with Gondola. Wait. I'm just trying to think the scenario where we're able to actually deal with this Gondola here. Like, I was thinking of banana peeling this here, and then playing this here. But I don't... I'm not feeling that the gondola screws this whole thing up. Well, we'll start off like this, I guess. There's no banana that helps us, right? No, there's no way out. This was gonna be the play. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> I can't! It's too much value! It's too much value, man. Alright, the answer is gonna be no, 5 and 3. We're gonna play another game just to cleanse our palate from that atrocity. <laughs> Honestly, this deck was a complete success. So, 5 and 3. Let's go for the 6 and 3, guys. It'll be good enough. The answer is no. We lost that game fair and square of it. Dragon's like the worst thing we can get. We wanted a one cost card there. Maybe it would help. Uh, banana peel to one, play like double mint in one, and then, yeah, and then the banana play. That, that actually, we could have survived if we got like doubled mints or triceratops. Alright, here's the infinity. We'll beat this guy, guys. We got this one. Looking for the curve. Looking for the good curve. For the good kush. Alright, this is fine. <sighs> Palette cleanser after high roll garbage. There's no way to win that. There's no actual way to win that. Oh. We blew the headstone carver too there, right? <laughs> devastating. It's devastating. I should make that a highlight match and, and make it sound like I won, and then, <laughs> and then troll the chat. <laughs> That's such a great idea. If we don't blow the right one... The thing is, we can get banana peel from this. Or half banana, That's what we want. California roll? Yeah, it does count. I'm sorry. We only don't count it if it's like a cheater. Uh, answers. It's clearly a sniper hard countering us. We won't counter. But that, that was just an HG being HG. What am I supposed to do here? Do 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 The stonk market crashed today. <laughs> We're down to seven health. It's not looking great. We have like these banana bums to hopefully help us get back into this game. Dude, oh cool. I really do want this to live. So I think it's gonna be like. Actually, we should probably just move this, right? I could also be getting the free banana bombs. 
All right, I'll do the freeway. Life is a highway. We're taking a little more damage this turn, though. Maybe this is stupid. We're also conjuring cards that can hopefully get us back into the game. <sighs> so we'll get a free banana bomb. Banana peel. Hopefully a cheap legendary. I don't want to get a cornucopia again. Okay. <laughs> You won too many times in a row. You have some in the Discord pirate sweat. Exactly. Exactly. We should be able to stabilize pretty well here. It's awkward. Really would like to prevent him from uh, rocking our block anymore. wonder if I should just develop the B-Rex. Maybe we can conjure a banana bomb from this. I don't really need black IP here, right? Yes, we got the banana bomb. Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Oh, he's got three damage. Well, we have to block now. He'll probably go lane three since it dies to Banana Bomb anyway. No, he goes one. I don't know why. Really? Oh, we had that game too! Oh, so we just- Oh, there's no way. <laughs> okay, one more game. One more game. That's so stupid, bro. <laughs> one more game, I don't care. 10. We're just, I should just make it 10 games. One more game. Gosh. For the love of Yushka. What am I supposed to do? I need a early game there. I had that game stabilized too, we should have won. What is with this guy's name? That font, man. You're one turn too late, bruv. <laughs> should I play around? Uh, it just feels like Tomb Razor, doesn't it? Like I'm Tomb Razor. Bounce the plant. Not a great pogo. He has mug. Then it's Ram Spacito. Interesting. Why? Well, you don't want us conjuring. High rolling him. Could you not have have a, a, a turn four mug here? Thank you. We don't really necessarily need this to live for a long time. I think I'm just conjuring the beanstalk and killing this pogo is good enough. We really can't just wait for him to get a mug. It's not worth it. That's good. That's okay. That's a really powerful superpower that eliminates one card. Come on. That's so annoying. Please, Captain Cucumber, for once, give us something that doesn't cost a million. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. More Lima? Zero cost Lima? Synergy. A little synergy going on. Yes! So I think we do it like this. It's in the box. Wow, Cool Bean just became really good. I like the Cool Bean, right? Instead of that. Uh, I wonder if I should do this for the... for the Conjure. And also, this this conjure costs less than. Mm -hmm. La 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 la. Okay. Yeah, we'll save the zero cost banana bomb. It's pretty good. We have a bunch of stonks in our deck now. Electrician. Uh, he'll unfreeze the deadly, obviously. 
I didn't play around electrician, guys. My bad. Why? Why not kill my cool bean for free there? I don't understand. We're gonna deal with a 2-1, bro, okay? I don't like that. I think he should have bonus attacked this to kill the 3-3. Three, three. I don't understand. So 5 and 0 looks good. It's very good. Die! More like die and 0. Get frozen. Not a lot of 5 cost cards to answer the 4 or 5. You could have like a Viking or a Gondola. But then that gets frozen. It doesn't really like win the trade. Uh, guess that counts. So he's got Super Chop and Telepathy. So Super and Chop are left. Try to play on Chop. What's in the box so I can stand on nothing? Uh, this plant food hits hard. Oh my gosh, look at the stonks, dude. This plant food is devastating. Let's do this first, because why not? Look how much value melon pulp plant food has. Fuck. You just can't teleport any minions in either. Get frozen. <laughs> It'll bounce the 5 2 now, but. Too late? Way too late. Down to 3. Six health left. Looking for a Yeti. That is not gonna do it. So we'll chump block this, conjure a card, and just win. Usually win. Lose some bullshit. Yeah, I got him. All right, guys. I will definitely settle for six and four, considering we lost to three. We well, we lost to <laughs> we lost to aggro. We couldn't block. Huge Giganticus playing turn two, double swashbuckle with the headstone cover, and two weed spray slash mug decks. Other than that, we want everything. <laughs> this is going on YouTube. This was a great stream. <sighs> to cleanse the palate after all that bullshit. Why does it smell like poop in here? Is the real question. Reminds me when I lived on the ranch. That was a good deck. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to be all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was the Stong Contras deck. Very fun. Pretty effective. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is right.